Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Trailblazer Ranger. Last video, we had just unlocked all the areas and all the relics, and I took the time to just kind of hop between skills and a bunch of various activities, and I just explored and tried out new content, well, new for me at least, and just kind of wanted to figure out what I want to do. But I think what I want to do, actually I know what I want to do this video, is get Slayer up and make some gear upgrades. We're currently level 82 Slayer, so I'd rather wait until we get 85, because I'd rather just kill the Abbey Demons on task. Plus, as a Ranger, I'm going to be ranging anyway, so there's really no rush to get the whip either way. And if we're on task and we end up going dry for the whip, then we'll probably get 87 Slayer out of that, and we'll be all set to go for the Trident right from there. So I think what I'll do is just grab a bunch of Karas tasks over and over, because they're really AFK, and because they drop Herb Seeds, and I am very, very low on seeds right now. I'll show you once you go to the bank. It's really sad. Here is the seed tab. We have like none of a lot of seeds and hopefully Karasks will help supply them a little bit but I spent the whole night at Karasks the other day and it didn't really give that many seeds. Not as many as I was hoping for anyways. So I'll just grab a Karask task and we are all good to go. Uh, here's my gear set as well. We didn't have the fire cape last time. Um, I don't know if we had the Black Dehyde body either. Fire Cape is nice though because it has a plus one range bonus whereas the Ari Cloak doesn't, which doesn't really matter anyways. <laughs> Just me showing that to you wasted more time than the amount of like extra DPS it would give me, but anyways, we've got 82 Slayer right now. Let's start not playing the game. 93 range. I wonder what's going to be the first 99 on the account. You know what? I actually just remembered something else that we have now that we didn't have last time. Something something pretty big, something pretty important. We have Draining Strikes now. I literally forgot that we had that, so I don't have to save spot. I can just stand here in AFK and we're probably really not going to go through much prayer because it gets restored every other time that we hit. Yo, 83 Slayer, and we got a superior on it too. 94 range? If we can defeat Jad, oh frick. Oh no, tank it, tank it. <laughs> That's going to give us a Slayer level. There's 84. We got a hard casket. I'm going to open it right away. We want any unique or black dehyde chaps. That's not chaps. We got, we got a helmet though. It's... It's pretty cool. All right, this is the last kill that we need for, oh wait, oh no. All right, there we go, there's 85 Slayer. Um, we're so close to the end of the task, I'm just gonna kill these last six and then we can go off and grab an Abbey Demon task. And one last range level here, we just got, oh wait, that was 95 range. That was our first level 95 for 250 league points. Man, that was great. I kept prey melee up the whole time. I didn't have to restore prayer at all for the entire task. With 85 Slayer though, we can now assign ourselves Abyssal Demons. Wait, for a second I thought you might need Mauritania. Okay, yeah, so you actually have to have the Slayer level in order to get a Slayer task. You can't boost to get a task. Well, I guess you could just see all the loot in the inventory. Uh, this is all the stuff we got from, I don't know, it's probably like maybe two hours or something of Karasks. 732k in and just GP from Alex and stuff though. That's gonna put the total cash stack at over 1.6 mil. Highest it's ever been. Here's what the seeds are looking like too. So we got we got some. It, it, it's all right, I guess. So we are gonna be going to the abyssal area and we'll just camp like one of the spawns in the corner or something. It's normally a one out of 512 drop, which means in the league with the three times drop rate, it's gonna be one out of 170. That was 250 points just to slay an Abyssal Demon, our first ever Abbey Demon, the first of probably a lot knowing my luck. I've never been lucky in my life before. Oh yeah, Abbey Demons drop hard and elite clues and with unnatural selection, they are guaranteed to drop a clue. So they drop both of them, which we can't do either of them. <laughs> Wait, what's the Slayer XP drop with these guys? 67k. Plus we get double rolls on the regular drop table, so I guess it's even like better chance for a whip. Is that what it is? Have double the amount of rolls on the lesser creatures? Okay. Oh, what? We got it already? That was uh 29kc. I guess we should just equip it for the task then. 250 league points for that. Well, I want to get 87 Slayer now and then go for the Trident. So I guess I'll just cancel this task and we'll go back to Karasks. I already got three superiors, so we're already most of the way through level 85. It's really weird because it doesn't feel like much of an upgrade, even though it is a huge upgrade, but at the same time, like I'm really not going to use melee unless it's something I have to use melee on. Also, I'm pretty sure the Rune Kite Shield is actually an upgrade, at least for like a tank shield. I had the Adamant Kite Shield before that I used for the Fight Cave, so better tank shield now. I'll eventually want the Crystal Shield though, I guess maybe the Obby Shield for melee. Do I even use the Dragon Scimitar? Because I 
bought it and then the only thing I meleeed was the Kurasks, which I of course had to use the Leaf Blade Axe on. I don't think I ever actually used the Dragon Scimitar, like I equipped it before, but I never actually fought anything with it, I don't think. I really don't care about having to cancel tasks because like, yeah, I do still need stuff, like especially the Rune Pouch, but if I want to just grind out Slayer Points, it'd be really, really fast by just getting Spire Tasks over and over. As for right now, I'm not like specifically going for points, but I am just passively getting Slayer Points just from like AFKing for whatever I have to do. And we just got 86 Slayer. 96 range. I'm getting so many freaking superiors, man. I can't keep up with all of them. It's like the game just wants me to get 87 Slayer ASAP. Thank you very much, Jagex. Appreciate ya. Man, I swear this game just like gave me an insane amount of superiors. Carriers, but there's 87 Slayer. Can uh, go grab a Kraken task now. So we'll just cancel this task because I don't really care too much about the Slayer points. And then assign Cave Kraken. I actually don't even know what setup I'm going to go with. We have to use magic. Well, can we use range? I mean, we could try range and see how it goes. They have plus 100 range defense, but negative 63 magic defense. Wait, I was going to go do a birdhouse run, but I just noticed that we're pretty much like all out of seeds. So let's go buy some more first. This will be the last time I'm going to buy seeds on this account. I'll just show you the method though. So first we go resizable then we talk to Olivia. So that way she doesn't move around and we could trade. We can set our shift click and menu entry swapper on Runelight to shift click by 50. And then when you click on here, it just refreshes the stock that way. 6,000 birdhouse run seeds. We should be good. The Kraken boss drops the trident at a rate of 1 out of 512. So it's 170 with a 3 times multiplier. But the baby Krakens drop the trident 1 out of 200. So with the multiplier, it'll be 1 out of 66. So we're going to be killing the baby Krakens for the trident. I have no idea how it's going to be with range. I've never heard of anyone actually using range for Kraken before. But let's see if we can actually hit. Oh, okay. So I know it doesn't affect the big Kraken, but I've never tried it on the baby Kraken. So clearly we have to get magic. Uh, We have a lot of chaos runes, so I guess we'll just cast the chaos fire spell. <laughs> Firebolt, yeah, that's the one. Because they have negative magic defense, it does not matter what our magic accuracy is. So I could wear full dehyde and it wouldn't matter. Uh, only thing I want to do is maximize the prayer bonus because we're just gonna be praying in AFKing. So let's uh, set up fire bolt here and then put on pray mage and we're actually gonna hit now and we could just chill. Shouldn't be too bad for a one out of 66. Famous last words, eh? Oh, that was a task. I forgot that was even a task because on my other account, I never end up getting a Cave Kraken task. This is my first time ever even killing a Cave Kraken in the whole entire league. But we got 100 points for that. I've been thinking about this. We need to really get magic up because Zora is going to be a big goal for this account, like working towards being able to fight Zora. But before then, I want to get a Suffering, and that means we'll have to get 93 magic, or I think 90 with boosting. And we are only currently 72, so we need to do a lot of magic. Magic. Same thing with crafting as well, but we'll talk about that very shortly after we get the trident. And there it is. <laughs> Let's see, that was seven K Kraken kills. Was that it? Really? I thought it was a little bit more. Well, there we go. There's probably, I'm going to guess, a task to equip it. Bruh. <laughs> Okay, I, I didn't realize. Okay, like I knew that in the back of my head, but I didn't think about it. Uh, I'm actually going to go start food right now because it's going to take a while for it to cook. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to think of what I want to do because I have no idea. I thought it would take a lot longer to get the trident and whip. I thought that'd be like the whole video, but I forgot that leagues is like way faster than the main game. So there's like so many upgrades to make every single day. The progression just happens so fast. I've had some time to relax and have some very deep introspective thought about my life. And what I've realized is that we should go do the Candor and Medium Diary. There's only one task that really stands out as being a bit annoying, and that is complete a wave of bar basalt. Because like, if I'm just going to do one wave, I, I assume it's just like round one and then you drop out. But I mean, if I'm going to do it, I may as well stick through for like all the way through wave 10. All right, back to good old world 402. Hopefully there's a lot of people. I guess they'd all be downstairs, huh? Okay, I see. Yeah, there's quite a few white dots there. All right, this will be fun. All right, looks like we found the team. Oh, dude, I saw Nags. Wasn't he like rank one hardcore a long time ago? Then he died while chinning uh, monkeys. Oh, this is so nostalgic, man. This brings me back to like actual RuneScape 2, like 08 or something. And you just like go to World 306, or I guess it's World 6 back then, I'm pretty sure. 
and you just find random people and it was awful but so fun at the same time there we go we uh got a wave done that was the medium task but i will be loyal and stick with the team all the way through you guys know chad not the bully from high school <laughs> no he's the guy playing collector on your team <laughs> True. Okay, this is it. The eggs are being loaded for the queen. Please. Yes, we did it. Woo. Yeah. 32 minutes. Not bad, dude. Not bad for just completely random people. That went smoother than I thought it would. We'll just say that. Okay, so there's a 50 point league task to defeat the queen. And then I think there's also a hard task to equip a granite plate body. Yeah, purchase and equip a granite body from Barbasol. We can actually afford this now. It costs 95,000 GP, so I'm not worried about the money. Um, here we go. The tank body of champions. Buy it and equip it. Oh, dude, I'm so tanky now. Well, all right, let's go finish off the medium diary. That's actually a lot of tasks we have to Oh, we have to plant limpwords too. They grow really fast, so it's like four minutes for me. Oh my god, this granite warrior has the freaking pendant screen pet. That's sick. Oh, he must be from like one of those uh, Barbasalt leeching clans because he has BA in his name. It it's backwards, I assume. <laughs> Wait, do I need a lockpick for this chest? Oh yeah, it says you need a lockpick. Okay, I was looking on the wiki right now. Uh, ways to get a lockpick because we don't have the rogues den, so we could hunt implings or kill some of these monsters. Or there's a spawn in the Yanel Agility Dungeon. That seems the easiest, so we'll just grab it from there. Man, that's kind of a throwback to the Twisted League though, because getting a lockpick was a struggle. You have to get a lockpick for something, I can't remember what. Oh, was it for the artifacts actually? And the only way to get it for a while was baby implings, but I think they eventually just add it to the scavenger beasts and raids. Hey, look at that, there it is. And teleporting with the fairy ring is the last task for the Kandoran Medium Diary. Okay, so that is 50 leak points, and let's go claim the XP lamp, of course. I think I'll just put all future XP lamps into prayer unless something else just comes up, but this will probably be the default because prayer seems like the most difficult to train. Um, and we got a prayer level too, or, or two prayer levels or something, three maybe. And that's 1750 total level, so 100 more league points for that. Now, why did I want to do the Candor and Medium Diary? Well, it's to train crafting. I've been killing a lot of Karasks, as you've seen, um, and we have all this flax in the bank. We have 5.6k. Okay, now before you start typing your comment, leaving all kinds of nasty, dirty little comments of things I probably can't say in the video, just, just hear me out, okay? So... We're gonna spin flax into bowstring, but with the candor and medium diary, it makes it 33% faster. I have no idea how many ticks it normally takes to spin flax. I assume that means one tick faster though, so we're gonna come up here to the Sears Village spinning wheel and we are going to spin flax into bowstring. 240 XP each. I don't think I've spun bowstrings. I don't even know how long it's been, but this definitely seems faster than it normally would be. All the production master relic people are laughing at me right now, but um, we're gonna do this to train crafting for a little while. We currently have 65, and for the suffering, uh, wait, was it for Zenite Ring? So it's 89 for the suffering, but we can get the guaranteed plus four boost from the pie at level 85. So 85 crafting will be on the horizon for me. Um, I don't have a rune pouch yet, so I have to keep these two runes in my inventory, but this is what I'm gonna do. Just go to the bank here, take out more flax, crystal memories right back. I'm just gonna be chilling here doing this tonight. See, look how fast it is. A crafting level already. All right, my food should be done though, so I'm excited to eat dinner and edit and chill and have a good time spinning my bowstring tonight. It's a good idea, okay? Stop making fun of me. Yes, give me all the magic levels. And we have now officially used up all the flax. Um, you can see all the XP I gained here. Ignore the XP per hour because I was idling for a long time. Um, I did reset the XP though, before I started, so we gained 1.3 million crafting XP, and there's all the bowstring, 5.6k, which I don't know if I'll ever actually end up using that. Let's take a look at the wiki though, and we can look at what we unlocked. We started at 65, and we got to level 79. So let's see, we got Amulet of Power, Crystal Helm, actually full crystal armor we can make now. Uh, there's a task to craft 30 blue dehyde bodies. We should actually go do that right now. Magic Bird Houses, there's a task for that too. Slayer Rings, because we do have the Eternal Gem, so maybe we should 
get that eventually. We can now create our own crystal stuff. Is it called singing? We can sing the crystal uh, weapons. And we can boost with a pie up to level 83. So that will unlock the amulet of glory. Oh, and black DI chaps too. Yeah. Oh, oh, black DI chill. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Okay, uh, let's go start doing stuff. We actually have a lot of magic logs. I guess I end up AFKing magic trees for a while. All right, I think the task is to make a magic place, a magic birdhouse, 100 league points for that. I guess all my birdhouse runs will be magic runs until I run out of magic logs, which is like 80 birdhouse runs away. I don't even know if we'll actually ever end up doing that many. There's no redwood logs in Trailblazer, of course, because there's no Zaya. So this is the best possible birdhouse we can make. Luckily, we managed to get one dragonstone from Zalcano, but that's fine because one dragon... Oh, yeah, I have to freaking... Oh, by the way, I don't think we have to wear the candor and headgear to get the increased speed at the Sears Village spinning wheel. I was just wearing it just to flex, I guess. I don't know. Oh, come on, please cook. Yes. Yay. Oh, and we got cooking level two. Anyways, as I was saying, one dragonstone is all we need to make the Amulet of Glory. So let's string that and then... Oh, oh, that was a hard league task. And then we're going to enchant it as well. And there we go. So many upgrades today, that's freaking sweet. Amulet of Glory. And here's the stats of it for anyone who didn't know. Um, compared to the unholy symbol, which I had before, it's quite a quite a big difference. New day, new me. We're gonna go do the farm run and birdhouse run, and then we're gonna go kill blue dragons. Oh, but first, while our crafting is still boosted to 83, we should make the black dehyde chaps, because you need 82 to make them. And I remember I caught a magpie impling once, and I got black dragon hide from it, so that was very convenient. Let's go tan the hides, and then craft the chaps. And then put those on, and it's 100 lead points to equip a full black dehyde set, and of course, it's an upgrade. I have a feeling the next hard clue that we do, we'll probably get the black dehyde chops from, but that's okay. This is all the blue dragon hides that we have right now. We only have 15. We need 90 of them because each blue dehyde body takes three blue dragon hides or dragon leathers. But I don't mind spending a couple of them to make a shield here. We'll make the U shield, and then we can attach these together. And we now have uh, finally our first rain shield over that freaking wooden shield I've been using for a while. So yeah, there we go. It may not be much. I mean, if we're killing dragons, we can't use that right now anyways. But for the future, we're going to have that shield, which is a huge upgrade. Actually insane. You would not believe the upgrade this fake UIM made. Here we are once again back in the ogre enclave. You have to kill like 70 to 80-ish of these bad boys. And with draining strikes... Probably not going to have to use too many supplies. Alright, we're all done with the dragons now. We have all the dehydes that we need. And how many dragon bones? We have 123 dragon bones in total. So we had some from before too. Unfortunately, we can't get the gilded altar. So it's not going to be as much XP as it would be otherwise. Eventually, once we start training construction. It's funny because each of these blue dehyde bodies is 3.3k XP. Versus one full inventory of flax with 6k XP, just for comparison. Although then again, getting the flax is pretty much zero time, whereas this actually takes time to get the blue dehyde and tan all of it. And there it is, craft 30 blue dehyde bodies for 100 leak points, and we got a decent bit of crafting XP out of that too. And we still have a lot of crafting XP to go that we're going to need to get in the future. I'm not sure if I did this task already, I really don't feel like going through the task list, so we're just going to check if I have equipped a full blue dehyde set. I have not, okay. Good. 50 points for that. All right, well, I'm really happy with the progress that we made today and all the upgrades that we got. Oh, I should actually grab them out the bank. We got the whip and we got the trident, which we still can't equip yet. We're very close to that magic level, but there's no rush. Man, I'm so happy with how this account's coming along, though. It's finally starting to look like a mid-level Iron Man or like a mid-level Ranger account. We got our black dehyde. We have the glory, I guess, kind of the fire cape. I think I want to make next video into a skilling day. I think I want to take a little bit of a break from Slayer. So we'll probably do that, uh, but we are wrapping up today with 1767 total level. We have 17.4k league points. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.